Welcome to Chem Camp. I'm Mrs. Newman, and we're going to work another AP Chem multiple choice question. Did you know that on the exam this year, for the first time ever, students are going to be able to use a calculator on the multiple choice section of the AP Chem exam? Which is great. However, there may be cases where problems involve calculations and math that might actually be done quicker if you don't use your calculator which helps you when you only have a minute and a half per question. So let's see if we can use this particular multiple choice question to pick up some tips or tricks to help you do math without a calculator. Let's learn a little chemistry. The problem reads, according to the information in the table above, and in that table they give us four different compounds and their corresponding molar masses. Then the problem continues to read, a one gram sample of which of the following contains the greatest mass of oxygen? So, as soon as I read the fact that they want us to go from grams of one thing to mass, or in other words, grams of another, I'm thinking stoichiometry. So I'm going to quickly set up a little bit of stoic work where I start with one gram of one of those samples. Which one? I'm not sure of yet. But I can convert from grams of that particular sample to moles of it using one of those molar masses they give me in that table. From there, I know I can convert from one mole of one of those compounds to moles of oxygen keeping in mind that I actually want to work towards getting two grams of oxygen. So for every one mole of those compounds, I actually have one mole of oxygen. So the mole to mole ratio there is one to one. And then I can convert from moles of oxygen to grams of oxygen using oxygen's molar mass, where I have 16 grams for every one mole. Now again, I, can't, I could sit here and plug in every one of those molar masses and figure out which one is the greatest. Or I could just keep in mind that I want the greatest number here as my answer. Well, if I know I want the greatest number there, what does that mean about the number that needs to be plugged in on the denominator of that first ratio? Well, if I want a big answer, then I need a small denominator there. So I'm looking for the smallest molar mass, which means if I take a look at that table, I'm looking at MgO with only 40.3 grams per mole. So the answer to this multiple choice question is B. And I hope this video helps you prepare for your May exam. Continue to follow along for more AP Chem content. See you soon. Thank you.